Welcome to our double feature Disney day here on Everyday Funko. We saw Gus and Slipper in the video before this. This video is going to be the Hot Topic Peter Pan exclusive. This is my first flying Funko. I have looked at the pictures of the original Peter Pan. I think I like this one more. Peter Pan was a ch uh, Disney movies in my childhood. This was definitely one of them. I was young enough that it actually scared me when I first watched it with the crocodile and Captain Hook. And it was kind of a little bit intense for kids when I was younger, but it was such a really cool idea of flying away and never growing up. And I think a lot of parents that watched it also kind of had that nostalgic feeling of how great it would be to actually never grow up and never have to have responsibilities and just play all day. I mean, they didn't, Lost Boys didn't, you know, they did have a lot of responsibility. They were running for their lives from Captain Hook. So I'm not sure if that's actually better than being a kid in the normal day and having to grow up. Anyways, really cool storyline. Obviously, a lot of us that have watched this have seen the actual Disney Peter Pan. I love the version of Hook with Robin Williams. That was definitely up there with one of my favorite movies. Still watch it to this day. I'm going to quit rambling. I want to open this guy. I want to see this base. I want to see how it transfers. So let's check him out. So I'm giving this look because I'm not sure I actually like this figure. That really surprises me. I was really digging for it when I bought him and I don't know from the front he looks really cool don't get me wrong he actually kind of looks like he's flying you don't really see a lot of the base on him but when you get to the back of him it looks like there's this weird tunnel of glitter pouring out of his back and it doesn't really look nice and you can't actually take him off the stand this stand is on him 100% so as long as you're displaying him and looking at him front on He's pretty cool, but I do like to kind of pose my figures, and I, as I said, I'm getting into toy art as well. This limits a lot of that when it comes to this figure, so future thinking, not really sure that I'm going to end up keeping this guy or not. He is super adorable. He is super cute. The face is great. The paint job is incredible. They did a great job on him, but I'm just not, I don't know, I'm not feeling him as much. When I look at him in the front, I want to keep him, but I think that's what sold me in the box. When I look at him from the back and the side, not really digging him. So this is going to be a hard one. We'll find out on Sunday with the judging whether or not he stays in the collection, but it's a hard call. Gus is so dynamic and so fun, and that slipper could pose a bunch of different figures in it. There's a lot that could be done. I mean, you could put Alice in it. You could put the Cheshire Cat in it. There's a lot of cool props and things that we could do with that one, where this one is little limited so I'd like to know what you're what you think about it put your comments in the comment section I'd really like to know if you have this figure you know does that bother you and something that maybe I'm just being silly over but thank you for tuning in to our double feature day here on Everyday Funko I kind of picked out one for tomorrow um I'm gonna tell it's this it's the Sauron from Lord of the Rings so this is a really different one because I'm going to be opening two boxes. They're both made in the same factories, but their paint jobs are totally different. One's like a bronze colored and one's kind of silvery looking. So it's going to be neat to see that because I've never actually seen that hunting for different Funko figures. I've never actually seen that much of a drastic change in the difference in their paint jobs. So, I mean, not to this degree. Anyway, stay tuned tomorrow. You're going to see that one. It's going to be really cool. And thank you for tuning in to Everyday Funko. See you then. Bye.